Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. This wild looking pattern is a mulberry fly. Mulberries, which are technically not a berry but a fruit, are a favorite of many carp species and they're loaded with protein. Splat the fly on the water surface just like a natural mulberry falling from a waterside mulberry tree. The fly starts with a size 6 hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with the spool of chartreuse uni thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Continue taking touching thread wraps until your thread hangs at about the hook barb. Get hold of one of the strands of red cactus chenille and snip it in half. On one of the halves, strip off a few fibers from one end to expose a short length of the string core. Lay the string core against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure it really well. And with your tying thread an eye length or two behind the back edge of the hook eye. Start taking touching wraps with the chenille up the hook shank, then go back down and back up again to build up a slightly elongated plump body on the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the chenille, then snip the excess off close. Pull back and clear any chenille fibers from the hook eye and take thread wraps to smooth out the area. If there's still material blocking the eye, snip it off close. Again, take wraps of tying thread to smooth out the area. Pick up one of the purple schlappen feathers and with its front or shiny side facing you, snip off the lower portion of the stem that has fuzzy fibers. On the tip section of the feather, preen down and trim the lowest fibers into a small triangle. Then strip off a few more fibers from the top edge of the stem. The trimmed fibers are used as a tie-in anchor while the segment of bare stem should coax the feather into wrapping correctly. Lay the tie-in anchor against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure it. End with your tying thread immediately behind the hook eye. Get hold of the feather's tip with your fingers or hackle pliers. Bend the stem down between your thumb and index finger to fold the fibers rearward on either side of the stem. Start taking touching wraps forward with the feather to build up an ample swept back collar on the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to anchor the stem, then snip the excess off close. Pull back any wayward fibers to clear the hook eye and take thread wraps to hold them back. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. A drop of head cement applied to the thread wraps will ensure they don't come unraveled. And that's the mulberry fly. It's hard to believe that fish eat fruit, but they do.